Thank you. How are you? Doing well today, sir. Thank you. Good. It's an arraignment form. I'm going to need your client to sign for me. It's going to basically be exactly what I say, what we're doing here today. He just needs his initials in each box. And of course, his signature at the bottom. As early I do normally read their arrest warrants as well as the, the charges themselves. Are you waiving the reading of the warrants at this point? We are, Judge. Thank you very much. Get him to sign it for me, please. Mr. Scott, arrest warrant 2016 838107006656 is charging you with the offense of murder. You understand that charge? Arrest warrant 2016 838107087980, all charging you with the offense of murder as well. You understand that charge? Those charges. So 2016 838101081 is charging you with the offense of attempted murder. You understand that charge? 2016 A3810100082, first degree burglary. You understand that charge? 2016 A3810100083, possession of a weapon during the violent crime. You understand the charge? Understand that this is just an arraignment this afternoon, that this is not a bond hearing. This court, of course, lacks jurisdiction in setting bond on you, which means that you'll be going before a circuit court judge in order for bond to be set on you. My job simply today is to inform you of all of your rights, which first being that you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You understand you do have the right to have your attorney represent you at this bond hearing, at this arraignment hearing, bond hearing, and then other hearings throughout the court. Please be aware that a warrant will be issued for your arrest if you violate any conditions of a bond order that's going to be placed on you. You have the right to be present at the trial, and if you're not there, the trial, of course, is going to proceed in your absence. Failure to appear at that trial will result in additional charges, especially if you're found guilty of the current charges. You have a right to a preliminary hearing. If you request it, you or your attorney must send it to the address listed there 10 days after the bond hearing has been set on you. You have the right to, have to a jury trial, and if you request that, you must submit that to the court in writing. You have the right to have an attorney represent you at the trial. If you're not going to afford, if you're not going to have the services of this attorney, you need to fill out that application, submit it to the clerk's office, and they'll make a, make an application for you to actually have an attorney represent it for you. You understand that? You've understood everything that I've just told you. Yes, sir. Any questions before we proceed, Counsel? Anything from you? No, sir. Anything Judge. on behalf of the victims, please. As Thank you. Then make sure that they are. Anything from the state? All right. Let's copy here of everything that I've just told you. All right. Thank you very much. And we are done. Thank you, Judge. You're welcome. There you go.